कृष्ण शिवा नॉट श्योर नो प्रॉब्लम बट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्लास नो देट गॉट मिस्ड राइट सो वे आर इन डे फोर्टी नो See, there are there is one class also regarding the Kanban. I just thought to uh, discuss, but it seems you know, today we will discuss this uh, PP and QM. Tomorrow day after. See, uh, basically, our classes is going to end on most probably on Wednesday, okay, or if not Thursday, to the max. So there was a uh, anyway tomorrow day after tomorrow we are going to discuss on the SFWs uh, and. I just thought to explain the Kanban process, but seems uh, we don't have that schedule to uh, do that. So what I will do, right? So I'll record the video for Kanban, and I'll paste it in the upload in the same folder in our folder. So you please go through. Once I record, probably tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I'll record the Kanban, and you just go through the class. If you have any doubts in that Kanban, you just let me know. We can connect uh, separately, and we will discuss the. Uh, doubts regarding the Kanban process, okay? Because that is also important concept. So we will, I will do that. Uh, apart from that, uh, if any rises or any other concepts got missed, if I feel you know, I will also record those things and I'll put it in the same drive, okay? Right. Now in the day forty, yeah, you are saying something, Pradeep. Correct, correct, correct. Ha 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 ha. That we will try to cover on uh, uh, tomorrow itself. Okay, because I don't think we can cover today because uh, we this is a bit lengthy concept of PM, PP, and QM. So engineering change management, I will uh, try to cover day after tomorrow. That is anyway a small concept only that we will cover. And most probably we will cover it for bill of material. Okay, how the engineering change management works for bomb. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we will cover in the ECM class only. We will cover. Okay, right. So in this class, we are going to cover the PP and QM integration. Okay. So how the PP and QM is integrated? Correct. So where it is integrated? In which area the PP and QM got integrated? The relation between PP and QM will come in the two two areas. Okay, what are the two areas? One is goods received after production. Correct. See, obviously, once after doing the production in any organization, we will do the quality inspection. Correct. And if you feel that the quality inspection is not up, I mean. Based on the outcome of the quality inspection, if we feel that the materials can be used, we can be it can be used for other purposes. If not, we will scrap it out. Okay. I mean, we will send that to scrap, or we will reprocess that if the uh, finished good is can be as a property of getting reprocessed, we will do that, and after also we will do the inspection. See, based on the outcome, that is purely the company's call. How they want to proceed, but as a part of the integration between PP and QM, obviously once after doing the goods received, the quality inspection will come into picture. Okay, that is one area where PP and QM got integrated. What is the second area? In some of the companies, they might have a, uh, they might come with a uh, requirement saying that th we will not, uh, we don't want to do the Inspection after goods received. Rather, we want to do the in-process inspection. Means, while the material is being produced, correct? They want to do the in-process inspection. Okay, so that they can ensure that once they produce that particular finished good in bulk quantities, they will ensure that all the materials has a proper quality. Okay, in-process inspection. So there are two types in in-process inspection. What are the two types in in-process inspection? One is quantity-based. Quantity-based in-process inspection means 
at the time at the, i mean let's say your finished good or production order quantity is 100 and i say that for each every 25 materials producing of 25 materials i need to do the quantity test okay so even i can do that okay so based on the quantities and based, the second method of doing the in process inspection is based on based on operation time Okay, what is mean by operation time? Let us say for performing one operation based on your uh, lead time, okay, system calculates that I need, let's say one hour to perform this, much, I mean to produce this quantity, whatever the quantity based on its capacity, you know, based on the base quantity which we specify in the routing, whatever the quantity it is, it takes one hour, it is taking one hour. But I say that every 15 minutes I need to do the quality inspection. Okay, even that is possible. Okay, based on quantity, you can do the quality inspection, and based on time, also you can do the quality inspection. Okay, how to achieve this process is sort of right. What is the master data we need to set up, and how the other data we need to set up so that the PP and QM is integrated? We are going to discuss in the today's class. Okay, so for this, we are going to take a brand new material. And we will try to set up each and everything quickly and we will try to understand. Okay. So first we will cover this goods received after production. Okay, goods received after production. What is the settings master data setup we need to do and other relevant settings we need to do in order to achieve this functionality. Goods received after production, GR, uh, quality inspection. Okay, so I will write it down here. And then we will see in the system directly. So, what is the master data prerequisites? Master data prerequisites. Okay. For the material, for a given FG, quality management view must be maintained. Where quality management view in material master, correct? Must be maintained. First and foremost, prerequisite and in this view what is the inspection type inspection type for this uh, goods received after production is equal to 04 very very important 04 is the inspection type you need to maintain in the metal master in the quality management second what is the second step second master data from qm from qm point of view you must maintain master inspection characteristics okay and what is the t code qs21 what is meant by master inspection characteristic see uh, based on your organization let's say you are producing dairy milk only take the dairy example in that what can be the properties of a dairy milk it, uh, the properties can be color, the property can be taste, and the property can be your, uh, let's say thickness, huh? thickness of the chocolate. So you are doing the quality inspection and you must measure some of the properties, you know, right? Then only you will uh, say that based on the property parameters that has been passed, hence my Chocolate finished good is also a pass for with respect to this production order. What are those? Let's say color, taste, thickness, right? And there can be another properties also. What are those properties? You will simply say that irrespective of the property, I will simply, I'm going to set accept, not accept, okay? Or I'm going to set as S or no. Or I'm going to say as okay or not okay. That's right. I am not going to say that the color is red or color is blue. You can say that. That's fine. But apart from that, you can also have this kind of decision making also. Okay. So, let's. So, this kind of color, right? So, what is the color? Uh, it can be brown. Okay. And taste. Whatever taste, you know, sweet or uh, what are the different types of taste, you know, right? That uh, with respect to chocolate, it 
can be sweet can be uh, other things you know just we are not trying to understand okay this sweet and more sweet less sweet like that and thickness of chocolate you know right 5 mm or 4 mm likewise and you will set a parameter and accepted not accepted you know this very well so all these are what all this 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 color you know this is a qualitative correct qualitative mic this test is a qualitative okay you are determining the quality means you are determining the property based on a value but whereas this thickness you are determining based on some number very very important from the qm point of view that is known as quantitative correct mic can be of two types one can be qualitative one can be quantitative okay so based on this example now you can understand what is can be a quantitative what can be a qualitative it is showing the quality of the characteristic right it shows the quality but whereas the thickness is showing quality no we are measuring based on some number that is quantity okay quantitative accepted not accepted all this or what obviously quantity qualitative only correct so this is this, there are two settings in the uh, qm master data that is mic quantitative or qualitative you can define any of your mic okay that is not a problem okay you just you check the tick box in that uh, particular qs21 transaction code and system understands whether it is a qualitative or a quantitative okay oh i entered a, okay right now what is the next master data we need to define what sampling procedure what is sampling procedure see you had determined you had decided that i am going to do the quality inspection for let's say your production order target is how much let's say your production order target i'll write uh, here okay i i'll write here so production order quantity is equal to 1000 pieces okay in this 1000 pieces are you going to do the quality inspection for all 1000 pieces or you are going to do the quality inspection of 10% of your 10% of your order quantity how how you are going to do that or are you going to say that always i am going to one second na just a second na sorry right okay are you going to say that my sampling procedure is always fixed sorry my sample my sample is will be always 10 quantity or are you going to say that my sampling procedure okay is based on some other method i mean formula how so that you will do you will determine in the sampling procedure okay very very important the transaction code to create the sampling procedure is qd v1 see all these are comes under the qm uh, module okay but as a pp guy you need to basically understand you know then only i mean even from the interview point of view you can easily answer the uh, master data settings before ensuring that you are doing this end to end process okay sampling procedure you need to define what is the next step once the sampling procedure is defined for this functionality goods shipped after production you need to create a what inspection plan inspection plan okay so what is the transaction code to create inspection plan qp01 okay i will, we will see all these things in the class qp01 is the transaction code and next what is the next step simple after this once we do the gr for the finished good what will happen for the fg what will happen automatically the stock the gr quantity will be shown in which quality inspection stock type okay means it will not go to directly to goods uh, unrestricted use 
okay it will first go to quality inspection automatically it will go based on the setting we define in the metal master okay once it goes to the stock uh, quality inspection stock type after that stock going to quality inspection stock type what will happen automatically automatically in the system inspection lot inspection lot will be generated what is inspection lot based on the quantity of the sampling procedure you know for this much quantity inspection lot will be generated okay for this inspection lot we need to do the result recording okay very very important steps result recording we need to do after doing result recording you will do the usage decision okay after you do the usage decision and you say that my quality is okay right and everything all the quantity in the production order you will do the quality test for the sample quantity and you say that all my production order quantity is fine so what will happen what will happen automatically automatically the stock not only the sampling sample stock entire stock will be moved from quality inspection qi to ur unrestricted use in the back end okay you will not do the system will only take care system can only move that okay because you have made this success i mean you have passed this no in the usage decision you have passed or you have set the indicator as okay or you have set the indicator as accepted whatever right so based on this system understand that okay uh, then all my entire quantity is now successful and hence i'll move this automatically from the quality inspection stock to the unrestricted use so these are the steps these are the basic steps we need to do and this is the integration between pp and qm that we will see in the system without wasting any time so i'm sharing i mean i have opened sap okay let's create a new material mm01 okay uh, uh let's create new only okay and nothing to worry or else we will do one thing okay so i'm going to see how i s production plant is 1710 order type is pp01 let's take any existing material because in order to reduce uh, some effort to create the master data no routing and all pv and all bomb so let's take any existing material itself which has a production order and we will make use of that production order in order to set the quality management master uh, master data order okay which one we will take uh, this looks okay oh this is the assembly eh? okay swift car 2990 hmm you guys would have created some materials you know let's take that. let me take this 2936 then okay what is it sprite 1 liter bottle okay i am going to take this material sprite 1 liter bottle 2936 okay what is the first prerequisite i told we need to maintain the qm view you know for this material we need to maintain what quality management view so i am going to mm01 so and enter the quality management view remove all those things correct click on enter right and enter oh 2936 already is taken care of okay no problem so i'm going to see over is do you guys have any material you had used you can tell me we had created so that i can can use that okay so let me take this 2923 then we'll see okay 2923 i'm going to change mode first i'll go to this uh, okay so i'm going to create mode only 2923 okay uh, quality management view enter all right we'll take this okay qm this metal we will take 2923 right 
right next in this quality management view what is the first step you need to do go to the inspection setup okay under this inspection setup create on inspection types what is the inspection type we need to create goods received inspection from production correct 04 so set this 04 this is the preferred inspection type click on active click on enter again go to the inspection type inspection setup you will see this this views are maintained how this maintain automatically based on the configuration based on the inspection type configuration all this will be shown here okay what are those things automatic ud inspection characteristics okay automatic assignment post inspection stock is stick inspection with task list is stick okay all these are the default settings nothing to worry you just try to understand what are all the available options here and what has been ticked here Okay, click on tick box and save this material. Okay, 2923 is the material. Right, for this material, next, as a part of the prerequisite master data setup, what we need to ensure? We need to ensure that whether the quality uh, master inspection characteristics is there or not, and the sampling procedure is maintained or not. Okay, so I am going to QS22 change mode change mode of the master inspection characteristic and i have already created one characteristic okay what is the characteristic i already created color okay color is a characteristic okay valid from okay it is going to create a i'm going to change mode okay because it's already there you know color okay click on enter you see here it is qualitative here okay it is qualitative here and always the master inspection characteristic it should be in released status okay and if you see here the catalogs is being ticked why why the catalog is ticked you must specify the attribute no you have said that uh, my quality inspection will be based on the color of the chocolate but i need to specify what is that color is it okay not okay red blue green what what is that color right so that is dependent on the this one characteristic sorry this catalog okay and my catalog type is attribute okay and we are using this one catalog what is qual zero one okay not okay catalog you are understanding i am going to use the catalog of what is maintained in this catalog? Qual 01. What is maintained? Okay, not okay only. Okay. I'm not going to maintain as color as red or blue. You can do that. If you want, you can go to the transaction code QS41 and you can do that, but that is not the responsibility of the PP consultant. Okay. Moreover, that will be taken care by the QM consultant. Okay. Just understand that. What are all the master data prerequisite we need to maintain? As a part of that, we need to maintain the MIC that is either it can be qualitative or quantitative. Okay, and the respective catalog we will maintain in that MIC. Okay, that is fine. And other than that, rest of the details we are not going to maintain anything here in the MIC master inspection characteristic. And the T code is QS21. Fine. Next, what is the next step? What have been saying? Oh, okay, that's fine. What is the next step? Sampling procedure, right? Sampling procedure you need to maintain. What is the T code I told? QDV1. Okay. Create sampling procedure. Already I have created one sampling procedure. What is the sampling procedure I created? SP. So that is sampling procedure underscore 1710 for our plant. Okay. What is that? My sampling procedure is 100% fixed sample. Okay. I'm not doing, I'm not going to take any percentage sample from the finished good quantity. Neither it is not, I'm not going to do the inspection for entire quantity, which is in the production order or neither I am using a sampling schema. I'm just saying that fixed sample. Okay. How much is a fixed sample? 
that we need to understand. So you click on sample. Okay, how much? 10. Out of 10, if my acceptance, if the quality is also 8, okay, I say that that's a great. Okay, you are getting no. I can put here also 10. Okay, just let me do one thing. I'll go to the change mode. Okay, for whatever the sampling procedure is there. What should Right. So whatever sampling procedure is there, okay. For 10, acceptance is also 10. Okay. Simple. Right. And sales. Okay. So some MIC is maintained, sampling procedure is maintained. What is the next step? I need to create an inspection plan, right? Very, very important step. In the input, in the goods received after production quality uh, inspection, you must and should have a inspection plan already created for that particular FG. What is the transaction to code to create an inspection plan? The T code is QP0. Very, very important. Okay. 2923 is my material. Plant is 1710 and valid from today. Okay. Or let's put valid from from the month of April only. Okay. Click on enter. See, it's similar. It is this screen is very similar to our task list. Task list screen, right? The routing screen. Correct. But only the difference is the usage will be 5. You are getting the usage will be 5. Goods received and overall status is 4. Released from lot size 1 to lot size 9999999. Okay. Next, go to where? Go to operations. Okay. Go to the operations and enter here the work center. Okay, what is the work center? You can maintain any of the work center, you know, where you perform the quality inspection. That work center you can maintain, not a problem. Okay, after that, you need to maintain the control key. So, what is the control key we need to maintain here? The control key should be QM01. Okay. Because this is purely based on what? The inspection plan, no? You cannot maintain PP01 control keys. You must maintain the control keys related to QM. QM01 control key. Description. What is the description? Inspection plan for goods received with respect to production order, correct? Production, okay. All the best quantity are all fine. It is not a problem. So click on enter. Uh, since that work center had that long text maintained, so it came here, okay. Next, select this row. Select this operation, click on inspection characteristics. This is a very, very important step. You need to select that row and go to the inspection characteristics. Okay. Click on inspection characteristics. What is the inspection characteristics you created? Color. What is the sampling procedure? SP underscore 1710. No valid version. Okay. Oh. Have we changed anything in uh, one second? Huh? QS22. Color. Uh, yeah. Go to the change mode. Color. Have we changed anything here? Yeah, nothing, no. Quarter logs. That is fine. Characteristic was not changed. Color. No valid version found for. First, make sure characteristic is delayed for exit transaction. One second. Which is released on the right. Let me release once again. 
version is one na okay that is fine so version is one right okay that is fine that is i mean we are just went to the change what it took the version not a problem nothing to worry okay next we need to maintain this just a second up please okay so color we maintained so sampling procedure we maintained okay save simply save this plan okay now inspection plan was created right and what is the next step you had created your mic you had created sampling procedure you have created the inspection plan correct and in the metal master you had maintained the goods uh, inspection type as 04 okay and this are all the prerequisite master data system we need to maintain as a part of testing the functionality of goods received after production now i am going to see what 01 and i am going to create a production order for this fg okay click on enter how much let's create for 800 okay and date is current date click on enter okay okay all metals are available right click on release click on release of the production order release order release is carried out fine click on save click on yes your order has been saved go to the change mode copy this order i am ignoring the in between steps at all you know right we are just doing the gr because we need to understand the integration point right so i am just doing the gr for the finished good so me go enter the order number okay what happened acha okay you probably you might have used the auto gr control key let me check that let's see was 02 enter the order go to the operations pp01 only no oh is it okay 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 let me go to migo 100279 Oh, sorry. Yes, one double zero one two seven nine. Okay, goods received order. Right, car hold the eight hundred quantity. Correct. See, automatically the what is the stock type? Quality inspection. Okay, the stock type before it used to do what? It used to directly get posted in the unrestricted. But now we had activated the QM right, QM integration. So that is the reason it automatically gets into the quality inspection. How? Because based on the setting you maintained in the metal master, the inspection uh, type you know will maintain right. So then automatically it will be stored under the quality inspection. Okay, preparing quality inspection. So item is okay, document is okay. Click on post. Okay. Now if we go to MMBE. you can see that the quantity 800 has been would have been maintained under the quality inspection okay quality inspection now what is the next step so as we discussed that whenever the gr is happened for a fg automatically what will happen a inspection lot will be generated correct inspection lot will be generated what is the transaction code to check the inspection lot the transaction code to do check the inspection lot from the qm point of view is qa32 very very important transaction code qa32 okay plant is 1710 metal is what 2923 right car honda click on execute okay you see here this a lot has been generated okay a lot inspection lot has been generated okay now click on this just let me do one thing what the inspection lot origin inspection lot origin should be goods received from production and i'll just try to extend the dates sir 
from two five to nine six. Okay, this is the one. No, yeah. Go to the inspection lot. Double click on that. Okay. Uh, one two seven nine. You see here, for which order the inspection lot has been generated, it will show up here. Okay, inspection lot quantity. See, inspection lot quantity is eight hundred, but your sample size how much? Ten. Okay, ten is your sample size. Okay, and next inspection specification. See that plan we created. You know, the group or group counter came from that plan, quality plan, inspection plan. Okay. And usage decision not it evaluated right. Anyway, we are going to do that shortly. So these are the details that will be shown in the inspection lot. Okay. Next, go back. Go back. And select that row again. Okay. We just it is taking some time. So just we'll wait. Right. Select this row. What is the step we need to do? We need to do the result recording. No. So click on result recording. Okay. Now how many inspected? You inspected ten. Okay. Inspection uh, sample size is ten. You inspection inspected ten, and you are saying that my result is okay. You got it. My result is okay. After it is okay, what will happen? System will have a checkbox. The green one saying that it is accepted, correct? Now next what? You have did the result recording, okay? You have did the result recording and click on save, right? Now results were saved. Now after this, what is the next step? You need to do the usage decision, correct? Saying that you have uh, based on the results you had recorded, you had entered, you are now. I mean, from the quality management team, that quality guy is responsible to enter the usage decision. Correct, saying that whether you can entirely use that lot which you have produced with respect to the production order, or you cannot use that. Okay, that is based on his usage decision. Okay, so what is the how to do the UD usage decision? So select this row again, click on usage decision. Okay, next, UD is what? Are you going to accept? Are you going to reject? Are you going to scrap it? Are you going to scrap partial quantity? Are you going to scrap entire quantity? So I have said that I will just I am going to accept this and post it to unrestricted stock. Okay, and quality score, quality score is hundred. Okay, this is also comes from the config only. Okay, quality score is hundred. Click on enter. Right. So once you click on enter, what will happen? If you go to the inspection stock, inspection lot stock, okay. You see here, the total is eight hundred, okay. And unrestricted use, we haven't entered anything. My expectation is, if I click on save button, okay. If I click on the save button, entire. Stock which is showing under the quality should go to the unrestricted use automatically. Okay, I am hoping that, but see, let's see that. Okay, I am not going to enter any quantity here. Okay, let's save this. Use a decision for lot is saved. Now go to the MMBE. Okay, now go to MMBE and see that whether it has been moved or not. See. Did I enter anything in the unrestricted use in the usage decision? Nothing, no. How it moved from the quality inspection to the unrestricted use automatically? It got moved based on, based on. I will show you one setting. Okay, I'm going to MM zero three two nine two three quality quality management view. Enter, enter. Go to QM inspection setup. You see here automatic UD. What is this means by automatic UD? Automatic UD means 
your movement metal movement between quality inspection to unrestricted use will be happened automatically based on the user's decision okay if you click on refresh here it will go off right because you have did the ud and all so again why to show there okay so that is setting is based on that inspection type config and that inspection type we had as a in the metal master you know that is how it came right so you see what is 321 321 is the moment type between what 321 is the moment type between quality inspection to quality inspection to unrestricted use okay transfer quality into unrestricted use 321 it happened automatically correct okay and if you go back you see 101 101 happened between what 101 happened for the production order quantity from to quality inspection first 101 and then 321 correct you are getting no right so that is how even in the real time the quality inspection will take will taken place for the goods received after production process okay you got no Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Correct. In the result recording, you are saying, correct? See, there are two steps, you know. You uh, Once we do the result recording, see, result recording will be done, let's say, probably by the operator or by the uh, quality supervisor, but whereas the user decision can be done by I mean, in the plant, you know, uh, it, that can be done only by the quality manager, and he has the authorization. Even though you do the result recording, he has that authorization based on his user's decision. Can we use that or we need to scrap that? That is decided by right. So that is the reason we have a kind of two-step validations. One is at the result recording where we will just enter the proper, check the property of the material and we will just enter the results. We will record the results. And after that, in the user decision only, we are going to actually determine whether I am going to use this or I don't want to use this. Two-step, two-step validation basically. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, under result recording, they uh, say that it is not okay, right? And based on that result recording, the user in the user's decision, he will say that this is not going to unrestricted. Rather, he will can create a defect. Okay, he can create a defect, and that defect will be come to the production planning team saying that whatever the quantity you had produced it is not up to the mark and you need to redo that okay if the quality uh, if the production team says that see that is not possible whatever done gone gone so we cannot redo that okay they will what simply do what they will simply tell the usage decision i mean the quality manager to scrap it out once he scraps it out what will happen see we will do that quickly you know i will do that quickly what we will do? I am going to CO01. Okay. Even that we will see. Okay. 2923. Enter. Let's say 500. And this is current date. Enter. Enter. Release this. Release the order. Save the order. Save. What is the order? 100, I am going to Migo. 1280. Right. 80 enter next quality inspection click on check okay enter goods is enter someone change this setting someone do for this this plan i don't know why quality inspection check post okay now i'm going to qa 32 correct enter the material 2923 okay plant 
uh, origin is 4 right and click on enter this is the one now for 500 I am doing the RR result recording and I said that I have inspected 10 but my result is not okay okay see you had rejected that's fine okay you had rejected as not okay what is the where is that you will actually decide that uh, this is not okay or this is okay in the UD okay if I save this and go to the UD and UD is based on that rejected and you are going to uh, block stock you are putting in the block stock okay under this block stock we can I can record a defect okay one second what did this happen status in display is what detail info oh all inspections completed huh? okay we'll do one thing we'll go back no go to the result recording okay create a defect here no quality okay there are some few right you know uh, configs that we need to do as soon as you click on defect what will happen right so it will allow to create a defect okay but what happened for this inspection type 04 so there is no notification type that has been enabled you see here there is no notification type that has been enabled what will happen generally when we create a defect a notification will be generated and it will be sent to the production planning team saying that for whatever the uh, batch you had produced with respect to the production order that is not up to the mark that notification type they will convert it into an order and they will redo the process they will do the rework and the proper order type will be assigned to the notification type rework order type if that is uh, uh, if they say that that cannot be reworked and what will happen the quality guy he will go to the usage decision and he will say that anyway you cannot uh, rework this so i'll put this entire into the block stock okay block stock click on enter and go to the inspection lot so automatically what will happen based on the usage decision configuration your quantity of 500 will be sent out to which stock block stock okay how we will see that in mmbe okay uh, you will understand okay so mmbe for this material execute okay so where is that block stock scroll down go to the right 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 side right side you see here block stock so what is the material movement for this block stock go to the material movements uh, 500 now this is where is this 500 350 right you see here the uh, metal i mean the metal document where tr block to qa okay block stock right it has been sent to the block stock so that is how i mean it happens and uh, that result in the result recording itself he can create a defect but having said that there should be the proper configurations uh, for the generation of the notification and that notification will be sent to the quality the production planning team okay and based on that they if you can rework they can do the rework if not then the ud in the ud he will simply put it under block stock and that will be sent to the block stock and we cannot use that you can, he can also scrap that once he do that uh, UD as a scrap, what will happen? He can scrap that and that movement type for scrapping is I think 551 if I am not wrong. I mean you can check, you can do that process you know and you can check. Um, I think let me check here itself. 
metal moment for scrapping i think it's when i forgot what is that scrapping but you can check i think it's 551 but not sure you can uh, do that testing you know and you can understand that okay right so you understood the this one right what is that the quality inspection plan sorry the quality inspection after production what is the next one what is the next in process in process production correct in this in process production you have two ways i told right one is quantity based one is operation based and there is one more thing what is the one more thing just you will simply do the in process production for the very first time that's it okay not recurring only for the one time you will do the in process production okay so how to call that so in process production in process inspection not production sorry in process inspection without inspection points what does this mean this means that you are going to do the in process inspection for one time that's it any one random time okay not recurring okay so that is known as in without inspection points very 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 important okay and second thing is in process inspection with recurring or with inspection points that is quantity based and in process inspection with inspection points and that is time based okay now we will see this quickly okay now uh, which metal we will take same metal only we will take you know this has two two inspection methods now what is that first is in process and second is product or inspection after gr okay same metal we are going to take you are getting me you now for the same metal we are going to activate two inspection types so how to do that go back to the metal master okay 2923 mm02 2923 go to the quality inspection correct enter go to the quality inspection view inspection setup 04 we entered now what is the next thing we need to enter along with 04 03 so create inspection types 03 right and this is active this is also active this is not preferred huh? but this is active what does it mean okay let's put this as preferred and this is untick okay okay now this is active and preferred what is the in process inspection for production order inspection type is 03 okay and one difference between 04 and 03 is what is that see in the 04 inspection type you see here the post to inspection stop will will be there because after gr only you are doing the inspection no? so obviously you need to post the inspection stop to the unrestricted use but whereas for 03 you are doing the inspection in between so is it allowed to post that entire quantity to the unrestricted use only after doing some sample of testing in the in process itself you cannot say that my entire quantity which is going to produce is of uh, good quality right because you are doing the inspection at the time of processing of finished good only okay so for that reason you see here that entire checkbox will not even be there what is the checkbox this checkbox post inspection stock will not even be there for the inspection type 03 very very important setting and at this point even in the interview if they ask the difference between 03 and 04 you must able to explain them okay i hope you got that why it is not there the post inspection stock option is not there the reason is you are just doing the inspection within the process itself the fg is not yet to manufacture and you cannot decide that my entire production quantity is a successful pass say only just the considering that your stock or your sample in the process is 
of good quality. Okay, that is very very important thing. Okay, rest of things are same. Okay, nothing to worry. And I have just saved this bit. And as a part of the prerequisite, the prerequisite are a little bit different between in process inspection and in pro, uh, goods received after production. What are this? What are those? Obviously, you will maintain the inspection type INSP. Inspection type as 03. You know that you will maintain this. After that, what is the next step? You will have MIC. Maintain MIC. And you will have obviously this one. What? This sampling procedure also. So maintain sampling procedure as well. After that, what? In the previous step, we were creating the inspection plan, correct? But that is not the case in this process. There is no need to create inspection plan. So then how to do this? Directly, we will assign the inspection characteristics MIC and sampling procedure sampling procedure in the routing itself okay procedure in the routing itself or way to routing itself okay there is no need to create a plan for this because it's in process inspection okay directly as an inspection characteristics and sampling procedure in the routing itself and for that operation which you are doing the in-process inspection the control key must be the control key for that operation must be pp04 i will tell why what is the re reason we need to change the control key and all once we see the demo shortly but the control key must be pp04 after this what is the next step as soon as we release the production order as soon as we release the production order what will happen system will generate a inspection lot okay system will generate inspection lot after that you know very well once the uh, inspection lot gets generated we'll do the result recording and we'll do the ud okay and especially for this case even though you do the ud nothing is going to be posted under the unrestricted use okay that is very 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 important functionality you must stress and you should able to clearly able to understand the difference okay now let's do this process in the system now okay so but i'm going to the system back our my uh, i'm going to take the same material for this example also 2923 i'm going to where ca02 no i need to go to ca02 right because in the routing only i need to assign that correct so i'm going to ca02 enter this group counter okay car chassis assembly and car main assembly yeah? okay i am saying that for this control key for this operation the control key is pp04 why pp04 only scroll down okay place the cursor here and click on choose okay one second now. pp04 detail information pp04 detail information you see here the inspection care required is tick here okay inspection care required is tick hence that is the reason you should specify the control key for that operation as pp04 okay see you can use pp05 also that's not a problem you can pp01 also not a problem but for that respective control key that inspection care required should be tick okay that is the main prerequisite okay right now select this row select this operation go to where inspection characteristics 
and assign the inspection characteristics here. What is that? Color version is one, and sample procedure is SP underscore one seven one zero. You got no? That you will assign directly in the routing itself. Okay, save this. Okay, routing has been saved. Next, what's the next step? I am going to create a production order. Correct. C O zero one two nine two three. Enter the plant and order type, and my order font is six hundred, and type is current. Enter. Okay, it is checking right now. You see here, if I go to the assignment tab, you see here my inspection lot is zero. Okay, as soon as I release this order, release the order, my inspection lot got generated. Why? Why? Because. In the material master, in the quality management view, I had maintained the inspection type zero three, okay, in process inspection. Because of that, system understands that it should generate a inspection lot at the middle of the order itself. Okay, save this. Right, one double zero one two eight one. So for this order, what does happen? If I go to slash o q a thirty two, okay, what is the material? Two nine two three, yeah. Two nine two three. Two nine two three, okay. And inspection lot origin is what? Inspection lot origin should be. Zero three now, right? And click on Enter, execute. Okay, see here. This is the inspection lot, correct? In process inspection. Select this. Click on Results. Okay. So for which operation you want to do the result recording? Second operation, no? So enter the second operation. There is some problem happened. Why? What happened? Go to the operation production order. Go to the change mode. Enter the order. Inspection lot is already being processed. Okay. I didn't change the. I didn't. Okay, we have changed the routing. It didn't took in the order, huh? Okay, 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 okay. I need to check the consistency check for the PV, no? You are getting me, no? PV zero one valid from zero four zero four. Okay. Oh, from one to five hundred. Okay, it will take PV zero one PV for this one. It will take. Okay, okay, no problem. I will. I am going to change that to group pointer one now. You are getting what it took. System, our order point is how much? Eight hundred. Ah, so system took the PV zero two. Because of the lot size, and in that PV zero two, the group counter was zero two, not zero one. But we changed the control key and all for group counter zero one P routing. So I'm just changed. Okay. Now I am going to C O zero one. Okay. You got now what has happened? Right. So two nine two three, enter six hundred. Okay, six hundred, right? More than five hundred will enter. And hundred, enter. Okay. Now just check the operations. Right, it came now. Fine. Right. Now save this order. Go to the change mode. Okay. As upon assignment release, release the order. Release order. 
save this 303 yeah? the inspection log 3 star 303 ok now go to QE QA32 slash n QA32 ok next plant is this inspection log 32923 enter 2 it will show but ours is 303 this one correct next click on results see you see here for the operation which we are going to do the result recording will be shown here in this yellow color okay will be shown in this yellow color automatically the master inspection characteristic will be displayed here so inspected can result is okay okay click on enter valid let's save this okay now you do the usage decision this that is fine either neither complete or perform that is fine in the usage decision you are going to say set the accepted which means that for that particular operation for that result recording right you are saying that the ud is accepted but nowhere you can see here that you there is one extra tab you found that in that in process sorry production order after goods receipt after production order inspection you found that there is one additional tab there what is the tab post inspection stop the tab will be not there in this kind of inspection process in process inspection just you have did the inspection that's it okay next sales that's it you know there is no posting concept and all you just made the inspection you found it is satisfactory that is fine but once after for this material same material once after the gr is done then again it will create one inspection lot for that inspection lot you can see that the tab for inspection to qual uh, post inspection to stock tab will be enabled for that okay because it is the after goods received now so gr must be happen the transfer and the material movement should transfer from your quality stock to the unrestricted stock okay No, no, no. That is depends on your sampling procedure, right? See, in process inspection, if you feel again saying that, okay, I'll take uh, any random uh, quantity, let's say 10 quantity, and I'm going to do the inspection rather than for all the things. So you can do that. It is depend on the sampling procedure, the sample size will specify that, that QD V1 transaction. Okay, right. Next, what is the time? 20 yeah huh? oh let me stop this for a while what